So friends, we're on Bellevue Boulevard in Memphis, and I'm going to take you to the place where Elvis bought some of his trikes, some of his three-wheelers that you've seen. He's big in motorcycles, go-karts, snowmobiles, all that kind of stuff, and this guy, and I say the, these guys, there's actually two guys that ran this thing. They're both old now, and they may have even passed away. I'll have to do some research and tell you the rest of the story. But I stopped in here, heck, I don't know. I stopped in here in the 80s, late 80s, and talked to this guy. But I haven't been able to find my footage. I believe I even videoed here. I'm not going to swear to that, but I believe I did. But if I can't find my footage, it's no good. Of course, if I can find it, it's still terrible footage from that long ago. So stay tuned, we're gonna see what we can do. But I had, uh, I remembered seeing this place, but I don't know how I saw it back then. And I hadn't seen it in a long time and I was doing some research and ran across it. And there it is right there, friends. Super cycle. So friends, I am at the corner of Harbert and Bellevue Boulevard. And this is what it looks like down here. If you go back that way, uh, that is Union where Sun Studios, if you turn left, Sun Studios is back over there. Downtown is that way. And this is Supercycle. And these guys did business with Elvis, and unfortunately it was two brothers. I was just speaking with Lou over here. His brother passed away. He said that he fell off of a, I believe he said he fell off of a, uh, a ladder and passed away. So there's one of the Elvis trikes right there. He's gonna let us go in and take a look. But these guys supplied that kind of stuff back in the day. And unfortunately, this place is getting ready to close. This is 620 South Bellevue, and they just happen to be here at the moment. Well, Lou, do you mind if I look at that truck, my friend? No, it wasn't. Is it a lot? We made a, yeah, it's a lot. We made a copy of the truck. Right, this is not the actual one, but it's one exactly like mm -hmm. you have. The only difference is, we put in a radio with a tape program. He had a eight track. Mm. Nobody you can forget that they did for it, they? <laughs> That's funny. Thank you so much, Luke. Yeah, this was Ron's work area. He matter of fact he had a chopper sitting up here. So friends, this is Chopper built by Supercycle 1999. Paint by Lou Elliott, the guy that we were just talking to. And this is pictures of Elvis. That's Elvis and Billy Smith on the same chopper. Now it's not this exact one. This is an exact copy of it. But as he mentioned, the only difference is this one has a cassette player and Elvis has had a eight track. It's identical to the one he purchased in 1975. They also restored the snowmobiles, the golf cart. So yeah, this one has a cassette player. You can see right there. Elvis has had an eight track right there. But that is it, same color, same, same setup. And there's Elvis riding it. There's Lou and Ron. So it's Ron Elliott. And Lou Elliott. There's the fellas on the bike. They even got matching helmets. You see this? It matched the bike. So this thing's really not even had any street time. No. Probably going up and down the block. That's about it. Yeah. Once or twice, probably the best. <laughs> yeah, the, the tires, everything looks brand new on it. It's got 17 miles on it. Amazing. I wanted to get a picture of this drive out tag that they're talking about. Yeah, there it is. That's original. So this is the shop right here, friends. Elvis came in here 
had bikes, bought bikes, they serviced his bikes, and this is also the place that restored the things that you see. This is a commercial appeal. Let's see if I can find a copy of that check right there. So this is it. This is the people that restored all the the other items as well. They restored the golf carts. They restored the snowmobiles, the Jeep, and all the things that you see at Graceland. They trusted these guys to do it because these guys do it right. And there's a copy of the check right there. $3,112 to Supercycle, signed by Vernon Presley, August the 16th, 1975, ironically two years to the day that Elvis would pass away, that that bike was bought. Right. I appreciate you, my friend. Nice to see you. I appreciate the stories. Okay. God bless you. So you saw it right here, friends. We got a chance to go inside, meet Lou, see the trike that's a perfect replica. This right here is where it happened at, friends, just for Elvis. This is the real, the real deal right here, folks. The real deal. Tighten up every chance you get. Mm -hmm.